So once a physician has all the information related to the bone marrow and the blood findings that has created the diagnosis of MDS, they can put that information together to try to put together what we call a prognosis. This is a prediction of how the patient is likely to do going forward. So the information that goes into that, for example, are things like the number of blasts in the bone marrow, whether there are specific chromosomal abnormalities, and in some cases where a physician might have done gene sequencing, whether there are particular mutations that have to do with that patient's MDS. We typically use a tool called the International Prognostic Scoring System, or the revised version of that tool, to come up with a risk score for that individual patient, and that puts them into one of several different risk groups that range all the way from very low risk to very high risk. And many of our decisions about how to treat patients are based on what we would think their perceived risk might be. So understanding your diagnosis is important, but understanding what a prognosis is can also have a big influence on how decisions about treatment are made. And when you say risk in terms of prognosis, what are we talking about? Risk of death? So risk really has a couple of different features to it. One of the things that we worry about with MDS is the possibility that it transforms into a different disorder called acute myeloid leukemia. That's a more difficult diagnosis to treat for the most part and often comes with a shorter predicted overall survival. So that's one aspect of risk. When we talk about the risk associated with the IPSSR risk scores, we are talking about the risk of overall survival, the likelihood that a patient lives a certain amount of time with their disease. 